I'm Daniel Root, the Pragmatic Prepper. I'm going to show you how I remove ethanol from gasoline. 90% of the gasoline sold in this country contains ethanol, known, known usually as E10 gas. Ethanol is an alcohol, and alcohol is known to deteriorate your rubber hoses, like your fuel line, and gaskets. It also dissipates oil, so in your two-stroke engines, you'll get those engines running really hot when you use ethanol gas. I've already gone through a lawnmower, a weed whacker, and a generator because of ethanol. So I decided to figure out how to remove it, and I'm here to show you today how I do. Ethanol also attracts and absorbs water. The ethanol does not bond with gasoline as well as it does with water. So the water and ethanol will settle to the bottom of your tank. It'll be the first thing your carburetor sees when you start your engine. It also, because of the water, will rust the engine components. So the best thing you can do for your two-stroke engines is to go ahead and remove the ethanol before you add the gas. Additives don't do the job. Additives are designed to basically try to break up whatever water and ethanol you have so that it will be able to burn in the engine. So I'm going to show you today how I remove ethanol using a one gallon glass jug, a bottle of water, some food coloring, and we're going to make a valve and stopper with a breathing tube that will then uh, fit on top of this so that when we fill this with the uh, gasoline and pour the water with food coloring, we can then get phase separation in the bottle that once turned over will allow us to actually drain out the ethanol and water. So let's get started. So here's the secret I learned to removing ethanol from gasoline. I bought this one gallon jug from Amazon for about $11.55. I went to my local hardware store Lowe's and picked up this valve and poly tubing, this quarter inch poly tubing. Got a pack of three rubber uh, number six uh, stoppers that have the hole pre-drilled for my valve. But you're going to need to have an air breathing tube for the uh, siphon effect to work on the bottom once we're done with the uh, removal of ethanol. So I had to drill a hole in the rubber stopper to accommodate this brass tube. All right, we drilled the hole in the rubber stopper. Now I'm going to attach the valve to the stopper. Screw it down. And then we want to line up that hole that we drilled so that it uh, faces the back side of the valve. We'll see why in a minute. So now we're going to push the brass tube through the hole. down inside the bottle. And you can just double check the work there. You can see that the tube doesn't hit the bottom. Okay. Let's set that down. Now we're ready to begin filling the jug with gasoline. Okay, I filled the jug to about 90% full. Now I'm going to grab a bottle of drinking water and some food coloring and mix that up. A bottle of drinking water. And I'm using a purple dye. A couple of 
drops. Shake. Now we're going to add this directly into the jug. Set this aside because we will be using it. All right. Now with our assembled valve and stopper with the breathing tube, we'll make sure we get that down there nice and tight. I'm going to shake the bottle. That's set for just a minute so I can show you the phase separation between the gasoline, the water, and the ethanol. There's what's called phase separation and, and is very clearly visible at this point. I'm going to bring the camera over. You can see all the bubbling in that layer at the top, the top of the water ethanol mix. And that is the ethanol. Alright, so the water and ethanol have settled at the bottom and it's time to go ahead and drain this. I've got two bottles that are going to be used to fill this because gasoline that's sold in our state is E10, which means it's 10% ethanol and we should have at least a full bottle and then probably another half bottle when we're done with this exercise so what we're going to do now is we're going to set this up in a stand that uh, is actually the stool uh, i've repurposed it for this use Make sure the valve's closed the cap is on tight feed your line down Moment of truth. All right, now that we've actually uh, rocked it a bit and stirred it up, I'm going to let it set a little bit more. Okay, this part can get a little tricky, but uh, if you have a second person, it might not be a bad idea to have their help. I've learned to just use a uh, can cooler for my plastic water bottle. So we can get this on film. All right, best to use two hands with the uh, valve. Let's go ahead and start draining. See that uh, purple water coming through? We should be able to fill this bottle and probably about half of that bottle. If you recall, we poured a full bottle of water in, so we definitely will get that reclaimed. The addition is the ethanol. So, there's our original bottle, here's our uh, additional E10, 10% ethanol. So, we can now say that our gas here in this jug is pure gasoline. Thank you for watching.